What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Look, this whole J. Cole situation is crazy. I see a lot of your comments. I see a lot of you trying to trying to back up J. Cole. I'm just going to very quickly cover that instead of replying to every single comment. Here's the thing, man. And I said this in my previous one. Maybe the video was too long. Maybe you didn't watch it all. But I'll say it very short and concise here. If all J. Cole ever did was like, hey, I'm in my own lane. I'm the best rapper, um, you know, in my opinion. And I like making positive music. Cool. Yeah. And then if Kendrick comes after you, it's like, yo, Kendrick, why are you trying to bother this dude? He's like doing his own thing. But Cole has been, been talking crazy. Like, I wish somebody would try me. Like, if somebody went against me, I would destroy them. I would beat them. I would, I would kill them. In rap, like, he's been saying that. What if I was like, oh, if anybody steps to me, um, if someone, someone comes in my face, I'm going to punch him. I'm going to knock him out. I'm a badass. You don't want to step to me. And then the first time somebody steps to me, I'm like, Oh, it's all love, man. I'm trying to be on a better path. And like, but then like, there's a huge disconnect. I can't keep talking like that and then not back it up when a moment happens, right? Like, that's my issue with it. But you know what? I will always be a Cole fan. There's music he's made that that has done things for me uh, and it'll always be that way. Um, but I will say anytime I listen to a Cole track, and I'm gonna say this about the whole Might Delete Later album. Mike Lee later was all him talking about how he's the best rapper alive. I feel differently about that now. The rest of your music on your positive stuff, yeah, I love that. I'll listen to it all day. But any any rap or any verse where you're saying I'm the best, don't try me, come at don't, you know, don't come after me or I'll take you out. I I feel some way about that, man. That's just my opinion. So anyways, I saw that uh No Life Shack had this title that made me click on it. He said he was in the studio with J. Cole. I was like, "What?" And then uh, very quickly in the video, I realized he was reacting to a, a video that was made by somebody, by this person, JKD the Animator. Uh, so I stopped the video and I was like, I got to check this out myself. Um, so I've only really seen like the beginning of this video, but I want to check this out. Let's let's see what we got here. You guys know No Life Shack is my, uh, my reaction goat. Obviously, huge inspiration for me. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's see what we got. Jayco, bro. The cleaning out my closet beat, by the way, from Eminem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where? Well, ain't no way. Yeah. yeah. The, yo, that staple, no life shack, but ain't no way. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Well, ain't no way. Yeah. Yeah. My bad, Kendrick. My bad, Kendrick. I keep on waking up out of cold sweats. It ain't been no dream veil, cause I can't rest. That's why I gotta get this off of my chest. My nigga Kendrick, everybody knows that you the best. I ain't got nothing left in the chamber. Told my fans I ain't done nothing lame. -er. They know I don't be lying. My nigga, you a lion. And ain't nobody out here, you tamer. I'm dreaming, right? That's why I'm trying to slide out. <laughs> I'm dreaming, right? <laughs> Yo, I love this. I love that he's taken like the staple, like those are the staple no life shack, I'm in shock reaction like phrases, right? Bro, ain't no way. What? Like, oh man, it's so good. And ain't nobody out here, you tamer. I'm dreaming, right? That's why I'm trying to slide out of danger. Sorry, dog. No, you got more power than the Green Ranger. If you the god, I was born in the manger. I bow out at my show so that things don't get stranger. So throw your best punch, I stick out my chin. And I vow to never make that same mistake again. I don't want to battle, bro. I just want to be friends. So let's just end this here. I will let you I'm win. sorry, Kendrick. No. I never. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Mama. Cleaning up my closet. I'm sorry, Kendrick. No. I gotta see what reactions he put on this for for I will let you I'm sorry, Kendrick. Oh my God. I never should have oh missed God. you. Ain't no way. Ain't I never no should have responded, but I did. So I'm apologizing. I'm sorry, Kendrick. Man, what the? I never should have dissed you. I never should have responded, but I did. So I'm apologizing. You apologizing to a nigga? Yeah, 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 yeah,
Hey man, I can finish that. I can finish. Sorry, I'm being a little loud here because I'm getting excited. But uh, I can finish that sentence that that video ended on. Obviously, I can't say the word that that Shaq said, but you apologizing to a person that dissed you. What? Come on, man. Come on, man. And please, guys. I just heard. I got text this morning when I woke up from my friends. And I saw somebody comment. Oh, man. I really want to believe that it's not true. But obviously, the fact that people are reaching out to me and commenting, it's going to be true. It's happened. J. Cole has a has a verse or something is featured on a song on the second part of Future at Metro Boomin's album. Bro, first of all, the fact alone that you're like leaving your boy Drake out there on his own. And I'm gonna say one thing on that before we end the video. But the fact that these guys gave Kendrick a platform, they heard the verse. You think they don't know what Kendrick was talking about? They gave Kendrick the platform, the launching pad, to fire those missiles at you. And then you get on with them? Come on, man. And they're going after your boy. We know that. We're, they're, they're going after Drake. That's your guy. That's betrayal, man. What's going on, Cole? What is this? Here's what I think about Drake, man. If Drake responds, you know what Drake needs to do? Drake needs to go Tupac mode right now. There's tracks where like Tupac came out and he just started listing off everybody's name, Jay-Z, basically everybody from New York, Mob D, everybody, and he was just going down the list and like, you know, say F you, like what? We need that from Drake. And here's the thing. If Drake responds and he goes after the people that are coming after him right now, even if the diss track is whack, for me, Drake... You're goaded, bro. The fact that you're going to take on all these people that are coming after you, and there's a lot of them, you got my respect. Because what Cole just did, please don't do that. That's all I'm going to say. I love you, J. Cole, like on, on the rest of your music. But anything that's like about you being hard or you being like, you know, a battle tested, battle ready rapper, that ain't it, man. This is disappointing. I know not everybody's going to agree with that, but if you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day, and uh, no life shacks to go. I'll see y'all next time.